dreams. Every wheeler's got them, dreaming of the ultimate trail ride, the ultimate suspension, the ultimate off-road party. For 10 lucky competitors, that dream has come real, because they're here at... Top Truck Challenge 2013. A lot of things have changed, but not this event. This is a mainstay. This is the tow test. Object of the tow test, pull a 36,000 pound truck up this hill. And when you see the competitors, if they start to bounce, that's a loss of traction, and that's also when they break parts. So it's gonna be interesting to watch how the competitors control the bounce. Justin Middleton and I'm from Shelton, Washington. Four wheeling, you know, it's the ultimate adventure, the ultimate wheeling trip. Every time I've watched the four wheel or the Top Truck Challenge videos, I've always wanted to, to be able to come here. Any secret strategy? Did you winch the uh, front down or the back down or anything like that? Nothing, just got all the tires, 22 PSI. Okay, well, let's see if those 44 boggers hook up for you. <laughs> work! Get set! My name is Pepe Palomo. I'm from uh, Fontana, California. Uh, I've been following Top Truck Challenge since 1993. So my expectation pretty much is just to come out and have fun. I always wanted to do Top Truck Challenge, like I said, since 1993. It's been a dream. So what's your prediction? How far do you think you're going to make it? Um, it, you know, it's anybody's uh, anybody's obstacle, man. I'm trying to I'm just trying to make it to the top. I'm not sure what to expect yet. All right. Well, good luck to you, brother. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Go! <laughs> Hey, Peppy, that was pretty impressive. What, what was your strategy? Crawling it? Uh, crawling it, yeah. Just uh, we're relying a lot on our uh, Marley crawler cases and our uh, drive shafts, so we we're just uh, hoping to stay together. And uh, yeah, we lived up to our expectations. Glenn Green from Polona, British Columbia, Canada. Should be a fun competition. See where it stands among uh, the best of the best. I've been following Top Truck since I was uh, back in high school, and uh, always thought it'd be awesome to be able to compete in something like this. All right, Glenn, you're here in the tow test. You have a monster machine. You're running a 460 and dual transfer cases. How are you going to leverage that in this event? I'm going to keep the gearing low and the RPMs high and uh, hopefully go for the full pull. Okay, Glenn, a bad break. I mean, you had an awesome start. That cement truck was flying past me, and then what happened? You shifted? What, what went wrong? Uh, basically, I think the nerves got me a bit. All planning and preparation went right out the window, and uh, that's what happens sometimes. My name is Josh Middleton. I'm from Shelton, Washington. You know, I'm here to have fun, have a great time, and my goal for this whole competition is to spank my brother. the dust settle. That was impressive. You had a lot of bounce there. What were your thoughts? Were you going to let off or just go for it? Go for it. I got spare parts. <laughs> My name is Paul Boundy and I'm from Grafton, Ontario, Canada. I'd say I've got a lot of size and power for the mud, the hill climb, I've got the length, the truck pull, definitely the weight.
right, now down to the starting line, we noticed you backed up so you could lock in the front axle. What happened? It didn't engage. It didn't engage. It kept uh, just blowing the air through. So uh, you did that in two-wheel drive. How do you feel? Worked okay. Worked okay. You happy yeah. with it? No. no, no. I'm Aaron Fava, and I'm from Gold Beach, Oregon. This is a 1989 Chevy. It's on its uh, third frame and fourth body and fifth co color, but uh, other than that, it's just an overly lifted uh, front and rear steer, big blocked Rockwell 50 Ford truck. Aaron, talk to me about that. Now, you are carbureted, correct? This is a throttle body motor with two fuel pumps. The front fuel pump on the Marine 454 is a needs a pusher pump, which is the one in the gas tank. And uh, we had run it the front one dry the other day, which pretty much sacks them. So now that we've got both fuel pumps working, the front one's intermittent. And without that 50 pounds of fuel constant, there's no way to wrap it out. So that's what was going on? Or you were hanging on the bumper. My name is Matt Hewitt. I'm from Spokane, Washington. It's an 81 Volkswagen Rabbit pickup body on a 77 Chevy Blazer frame. Uh, it's got a tune port injected 454, uh, turbo 400 with a 203, 205 Jed's machining doubler. So definitely not your typical Volkswagen? No. No, you'd be hard pressed to find one like this anywhere. <laughs> Matt, so uh, you had a pretty good start, and then you started to stumble. What happened? I uh, started hopping on me. I raised up my pressure, hoping it wouldn't hop, but apparently didn't have it all worked out. My name is John Retzloff. I'm from Covalo, California. I just want to compete and uh, complete as many obstacles as I can without breaking anything. a lot. I, was kind of, I got soft sprays. I was a little bit worried about bouncing, but uh, that's a good run. That's good for me. I like that a lot. My name is Jen Smith and I'm from San Martin, California. My vehicle is a 68 Bronco with a 2003 SVT Cobra Mustang engine. run you want? I think so. Good I job. I think so. Good Did better job. than I thought. Good job. <laughs> My name is Nolan Skopliak. I'm from Maple Ridge, British Columbia, Canada. I drive hard, so in this event, I should probably tone it down a little bit. Listen to my brother, Tyler. <laughs> I want to pay attention to the uh, Princess Pony handlebars over there for the spotter. Can we zoom in on that? All right, good luck, Nolan. Hammer down. not quite what you want. No, but it is what it is. We're not broken. We're going to go to the next event and we're going to take care of it there. All right. Good luck to you.